Salt Lake police say they've solved the 42 year old cold case murder of Sandra Matat. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph is live at Salt Lake Police Headquarters to show us what led to the solving of this case. Spencer. This is pretty incredible. It's actually the oldest uh, missing persons cold case the Salt Lake City Police Department has ever solved. Now, I spoke with Sandra Matat's son today, a grandfather himself now, who says he can't believe after 42 years this case has finally been closed. I gave up hope like two decades ago that it would ever get in closure. In 1979, Sandra Matat disappeared without a trace, leaving behind several children, including her son, Daryl Hames. What I remember most of is a really good mom. The case had gone cold. That was until last week when Hames got a call. Saying that uh, they would like a meeting with uh, whoever could make it. She was reported missing back in 1979 by her husband. Unknown to Salt Lake City Police in 1979, Remains had been recovered in Millard County, but had never been matched. And so in 2012, we're contacted asking if she's still missing. Thanks to a database, DNA testing, and nine more years of investigation, the match was confirmed and Sandra Matat's remains were positively identified. I'm thinking finally uh, um, closure. The question of who murdered Sandra is still unsolved. In 1984, infamous serial killer Henry Lee Lucas confessed to killing Sandra Matat, but Lucas later recanted hundreds of confessions. Salt Lake City Police believe Sandra's husband, Warren, knew more, but there was never enough evidence to convict him. Both are now deceased. But for her son, it's a relief, just finally knowing the truth. So I'm glad they didn't actually close the case. Police credit technological advancement, but also detectives that never gave up. Unless we solve a case, we haven't done our job, and that's why they never stop. But not having a mom did take a toll on their family. Without a mom or whatever to hold you together, I think siblings do grow apart. In a way, though, for Hames, his mom is bringing the family back together. He says he and his sisters have been on the phone almost every day and are now closer than they've been in years. Be right. At the police station, yeah, I shed a tear. You know, cause, and I haven't cried in years over my mom, you know, but I did shed a tear at the police station. But I'm more happy that I have closure and, you know, I'm talking to the sisters and stuff like that. She was missing for all this time, so we kind of grew apart, but now with the closure, we were coming back together. Pretty incredible story. Now, with all of those technological advances and the DNA testing that ultimately confirmed this was her body, police say they're hoping that more cases like this could be solved every single year as technology continues to get better. For now, live in Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.